You guys may have noticed when I've been fishing and out and about doing my thing, I have a hat cam on. And uh, currently I just have a regular hat with a regular camera mounted to it. And uh, I used to use these chest strap things and I found that they kind of get in my way when I'm fishing. Um, they're not the most convenient and comfortable things to wear for me and sometimes I just forget them all together. Whereas a hat, something easier to just throw around into the truck and leave it there. Um, so today I'm gonna do a project, show you guys how to build a cam hat. It's gonna be kind of cool because what I purchased was these, they're called um, power caps and they're from Lowe's. They're about $16 each. And the cool thing about these is they have two lights underneath the brim here and these lights light up. So you can put this hat on while you're fishing and you've got some lights to look around with. So not the coolest hat in the world. It does have a battery pack in the side here and um, that creates a little bit of a lump on the side of your head. But when you're talking about convenience and fishing and fishing in the dark early morning or at night, it could be just what you need. So I'm gonna show you and walk you through steps of making this thing and uh, give you an idea of what it takes to put together. It's gonna be really easy. So these both have what they call quarter 20 screws. So you'll need to get quarter 20. Those are the universal screw mount types that cameras use on the bottom plate of most cameras. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and mount this camera to this hat. What you wanna be careful of is when you're mounting this, you wanna pay attention to a couple of things. You wanna first pay attention to where the mount hole is for what you're mounting. So for this camera, the center is not the mounting point the center of the lens is the mounting point, which is kind of important. Sometimes these lights aren't perfectly centered, so you wanna look at the curvature of the hat and kinda of identify where you think the best place for this camera to be would be and put it there. And you don't want that camera too far back because if this thing is too far back on the hat, it will actually get the brim of the hat in the shot of that camera lens. So you wanna have it as far forward as you can stand it. Um, so I'm gonna be drilling the hole somewhere between here and here in order to make this work right. And you know, you can take the hat and put it on, kind of get it to where it feels right on your head and then look at yourself. I would say the center is gonna be right about here. So once I grab that point, all right, it's right about here. It does center up pretty nicely with the seam of that hat. So I'm gonna use the seam of that hat as my guide point for the center. And I'm going to mark it first of all. Yep, right about there, I think. We'll be good, right about there. I'm just gonna go ahead and just mark it so I know where to go with it. And you could not even, not even drill these. You could just use like a different kind of device. Now I have something underneath it. Um, and I go back the other way. You're gonna get some stuff up underneath that brim, so don't sweat that. I like to take a screwdriver and kind of just jam it in that hole and kind of just wobble it around a little bit. You've created a nice little passageway for your bolt to go right into. Sometimes what you do is you come in from the top because it's a cleaner area and you just push it on there and you just start it in and eventually it'll, it'll burrow its way down through that plastic and start threading through and then you can turn it over and then just hold it like this. You wanna bottom it out all the way. And once you get it from the bottom side, you screw it in and you just see what you've got left at the top. Now it could be that the threading, once you get this thing all the way in, could be that there's too much sticking out of the top. But let's see what we got. And we are bottomed out. So in order to make that tighter, I'm gonna do something that I've done on my other hats. Put a nut on the bottom. In effect, making that screw shorter. Yeah, it hangs down a little lower in the hat, but you're gonna end up with something that your camera can screw to more easily. And what you want is that binding to the hat brim. You wanna be able to really cinch it down. So you get this uh, just about where you want it give it a nice little turn so it's gonna be perfect be able to totally go out there and do some fishing I hope that was helpful for you guys and I hope that shows you a way to put something together that might be good on the water and fishing and for me it's better than the chest strap and I just wanted to share that with you today I know that was a little hacky the way I put this whole thing together but it seems to work fine and I think we're in good shape 
and I can't wait to get this out on the water and do some fishing. You guys have a good day. I'll see you later.